This critical message is from the United States Space Force. This is not a test. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to inform you of an imminent threat to public safety and well-being. The Earth has been pulled out of orbit due to rogue planet OGLE 2016 BLG 1928. Rogue planet Ogle flew in close proximity to Earth a few hours ago and entrapped Earth in its gravitational pull, yanking us away from the Sun. As Earth continues to leave the Sun's orbit, we will continue to experience a number of detrimental environmental repercussions including dramatic drops in temperature, confused and potentially aggressive wildlife, and change of atmosphere leading to increased exposure to radiation. The government has enacted a plan to remedy all of the potentially harmful side effects of losing our Sun, and more information on that will be revealed in the days to come. Scientists report that we will no longer experience seasons, and eventually life on the surface will be impossible without artificial heat production. In the coming days the leading scientists also believe the best thing to do is to conserve energy and food and attempt to gather as much fuel for burning future fires as possible. If you live alone, consider finding a neighbor or family member that will enable you to pool resources. Wildlife will most likely continue to act strange as light and temperature continues to drop. Food might become scarce in the coming days and authorities urge individuals to hunt and share as much as possible before the drop in temperature reduces the ability to do so. Even though it has only been a few hours, there are already a number of reports of human beings behaving erratically. The erratic behavior seems to only appear in people with a specific set of genetic markers, and scientists are dubbing this new disease solar schizophrenia or solophrenia for short. So far, no cases of solophrenia have been reported to include violence toward others, but some have exhibited self-harming behavior. This critical message is from the United States Space Force. This is not a test. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to inform you of an imminent threat to public safety and well-being. As the Earth moves past Jupiter it has become increasingly impossible to remain on the surface of the planet. The globally used underground bunkers have been established to house the surviving population, and you are urged to contact your local authorities to secure transportation to the closest underground location. The bunkers are powered using geothermal energy and there are reports that some bunkers are even utilizing UV lamps to enable the existence of some plants. Pets are allowed if they are not exhibiting solophrenia. Although all surface vegetation and almost all wildlife has ceased existing, officials from around the globe have started preserving some life from Earth's surface in the underground bunkers. Because of this, free space in the underground bunkers is at a critical level. Since the only locations suitable for the underground dwellings are locations with geothermal activity near the surface, scientists and engineers from around the world are creating an expansive network of tunnels and passageways that will enable magma to flow around the globe wherever we need it most. The venture is being called Project Holy Heat. After growing reports of solophrenics appearing in underground bunkers, scientists have expanded potential sufferers of the disease to all remaining members of humanity. While it's not always possible to see manifestations of the disease, there are a number of signs, including hallucinations, slurred or incoherent speech, delusions, and a lack of emotional expression. If you are currently in an underground bunker and witness any of these symptoms or suspect someone of solophrenia, call and report them to the Bunker Safety and Protection Program, or the BSPP, at 248-434-5508. This critical message is from the emergency alert system. This is not a test. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to inform you of an imminent threat to public safety and well-being. As you undoubtedly felt in your underground bunker, Project Holy Heat has failed. While the drilling was successfully completed, activating the flow of magma through the tunnels had an unforeseen consequence. Tectonic plates were disrupted and affected by the tunnels, and the heat produced through the tunnels, causing seismic activity across the entirety of the globe. Over 75% of all underground bunkers collapsed or were rendered inoperable due to Project Holy Heat's failure, and there are reports that some of the remaining tunnels are in danger of collapse as the surface oceans continue to freeze. The added weight from the frozen water is also affecting normal tectonic plate activity, creating sporadic earthquakes that can be felt around the globe. 
Due to the unstable seismic activity and the constant threat of destruction for the remaining bunkers, the remaining world leaders have developed a plan to attempt to break free from rogue planet Ogle's orbit and rejoin our solar system. The plan is to create a massive rocket that will produce enough thrust to nudge us in the direction we want to go, and once free of rogue planet Ogle's gravitational pull we'll only need to use thrust when passing the other planets in the solar system so we can remain on course. We passed Pluto last week, but if we can successful break free from rogue planet Ogle, scientists are convinced the rocket is our only hope for survival. There have been no new reported cases of solophrenia. All bunkers are being asked to volunteer all available materials, especially any metals, wood of any variety and gasoline. If you suspect any individual in your bunker of hoarding any of these valuable resources, please report them to the BSPP at 248-434-5508. The fate of humanity may rest on your call. May God have mercy on us all.